Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation, which is 8 to the power of t times 4 to the power of t, this is equal to 30. Now, what is the value of t? Let's prevent a solution from here. This exponential equation, that is 8 to the power of t times 4 to the power of t, this is equal to 30. We can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3 raised to power t multiplying by 4 we can express 4 as 2 to power 2 raised to power t this is equal to 30 now 2 to power 3 raised to power t this is in the form of a to power n raised to power m which we can express as a to power n times m applying this exponent property from here then we have 2 to power 3 t times 2 to power 2 t, that is 2 t, this is equal to 30. The next step is that 2 to power 3 t times 2 to power 2 t, this is in the form of a to power n times a to power m, which we can express as a to power n plus m. Applying this exponent property from here, we have 2 to power 3t plus 2t. Applying this exponent property, we have 2 to power 3t plus 2t. This is equal to 30. So here we have 2 to power 3t plus 2t. This is 5t. This is equal to 30. The next step from here, to solve for t here, we introduce logarithm on both sides. So we have rog 2 to power 5t. This is equal to rog 30. Then rog 2 to power 5t, this is in the form of rog a to the power of n, which you can express as n rog a. Applying this power root property from here, we have that rog 2 to the power of 5t becomes 5t rog 2. This is equal to rog 30. So let's divide both signs by rog 2 from here and also here by rog 2. So here we simplify rog 2 and rog 2 so that we have 5t this is equal to rog 30 divided by rog 2. We have that 5t is equal to rog 30 over rog 2. We can express 30 as 6 times 5. Substituting this, we have 5t is equal to, this is rog 6 times 5, divided by rog 2. Now we find that rog 6 times 5, this is in the form of rog a times b, which we can express as rog a plus rog b. Applying this logarithm property from here, we find that we have 5t, this is equal to rog 6 divided by rog 2, then plus rog 5 divided by rog 2. The next step from here, we can express 6 basically as 2 times 3. So therefore here, we have 5t is equal to rog 2 times 3 divided by rog 2 then plus rog 5 divided by rog 2. Now you find that rog 2 times 3 this is in the form of rog a times b which we can express as rog a plus rog b. Applying this property then we have 5t is equal to rog 2 divided by rog 2 then plus rog 3 divided by rog 2 then plus rog 5 divided by rog 2 so the next step from here is to simplify rog 2 and rog 2 so that now here we have 5t is equal to 1 plus rog 3 divided by 
rock 2 plus rock 5 divided by rock 2. So the next step from here, rock 3 and rock 2 and rock 5 over rock 2. This is in the form of rock A divided by rock B, which we can express as rock A to base B. Applying this logarithm property from here, we have 5t is equal to 1 plus, this is rock 3 to base 2, then plus rock 5 to base 2. The next step from here is to divide both sides by 5, so that now we have that t is equal to 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5 rock 3 to base 2 then plus 1 over 5 rock 5 to base 2 but since 1 over 5 is common here we can factor out 1 over 5 so that we have 1 over 5 into the parentheses this is 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 then plus rock 5 to base 2 cross the parentheses and this is the value of t this is the value of t so the next step from here is to verify that this value of t satisfies the equation now let's verify that this value of t which is 1 over 5 into the parentheses 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2 satisfies the equation now if you recall we have that 8 to the power of t times 4 to the power of t this is supposed to give us a value of 30. the next step from here we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3 raised to the power of t times 4 which is 2 to the power of 2 raised to the power of t this is equal to 30. Applying the exponent property, that's a to the power of n raised to the power m. This can be expressed as a to the power of n times m. So this implies a, we have 2 to the power of 3t times 2 to the power of 2t. This is equal to 30. So here we have 2 to the power of 3t times 2 to the power of 2t. This becomes 2 to the power 5t. This should give us a value of that. So the next step from here, let's substitute the value of t, so that now here we have 2 raised to the power of 5 times t, which is 1 over 5, into the parentheses, here we have 1 plus rog 3 to base 2, then, then plus rog 5 to base 2, cross the parentheses, this is equal to but the next step from here, let's simplify 5 and 5 here so that we have 2 to power 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. The next step is that 2 to power 1 plus rock 3 to base 2 plus rock 5 to base 2. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which you can express as a to the power n times a to the power m. Applying this exponent property from here, then this implies we have 2 to the power 1 times 2 to the power rho, 3 to base 2 times 2 to the power rho 5 to base 2. This is supposed to give us a value of 30. Now, 2 to the power of 3 to base 2 and 2 to the power of 5 to base 2. This is in the form of m to the power of a to base m, which is equal to a. And therefore, 2 to the power of 3 to base 2, this is equal to 3. And 2 to the power of 5 to base 2, this is equal to 5. Substituting this, this implies that we have here 2 times... 2 to the power of 3 to base 2, which is 3, times 2 to the power of 5 to base 2, which is 5. 
this is supposed to give us a value of 30. So therefore, 2 times 3, this is 6 times 5, which is equal to 30, and this is equal to 30. And this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And therefore, the value of t, which is 1 over 5, into the parentheses, 1 plus rope 3 to base 2, plus rope 5 to base 2, satisfies the equation. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video.